Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. I finally got my system back up and running. Last night I was not happy. My very old but still capable Asus Rampage 5 Extreme decided it was not going to boot up. Now I've had this motherboard since it was about a year old maybe. So we're going back to 2014, 2015. And anyway, you see the little uh, digital readout up there, the Q code. Uh, so last night that would not light up. The only thing that would light up was the start button, the little reset button right below it, and the Republic of Gamers light. Those are the only three things that would light up. And when I would try to push the start button up here, nothing would happen. When I manually pushed the manual start button, nothing would happen. And this particular motherboard has all these... Uh, troubleshooting buttons you can push if there's memory uh, compatibility issues, things like that. But none of those buttons did anything. I should say the BIOS light down here, it did come on and it would shift back and forth when I would hit the little BIOS button there to switch between the two BIOS chips. But other than that, there was no output at all. But the motherboard did have power, so I wasn't sure if the power supply was bad, so I had another power supply, swapped power supplies, and that wasn't the problem. So then I reseated the RAM. Sometimes that can cause issues. Pulled each one of the RAM modules out, reseated it. That didn't do it. Made sure everything was plugged in. Made sure nothing had fallen out. There were no screws that had fallen out and were shorting against anything. Uh, changed the GPU, even though I knew it wouldn't do anything. I had a spare, so why not? But like I said, that didn't do anything. I even went as far as uh, changing the CPU. I still have my old 5820K there from when I first put my system together. I've got a 6950X in there now, but I swapped CPUs and of course that did nothing. So the last thing I checked was the battery right there. That is a CR2032. That supplies the voltage to the motherboard to maintain your CMOS settings. And I pulled the old battery out right here. Check the voltage, it was 2.3 volts. It should be 3.3 volts. So I put a new battery in there hit the start button and it fired right up. So I went through all of that troubleshooting and all it was was the battery. But the reason I did that is because all the other motherboards I've experienced over the years that had a dead battery, the motherboards would still start up. They would just dump you immediately into the BIOS because it lost all of the CMOS settings. And uh, that was a good indication that the battery was bad. But this one, the motherboard just won't boot up at all. So hopefully that helps you in your troubleshooting if you have a motherboard that won't boot up, check the battery. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.